See, that's what a high frequency trading algorithm is doing. Every single one of them has to have a disruption in order flow before they will institute a new order. That means they cannot go short until it goes up. The market has to go up, purge some measure of liquidity. If the market does, I don't give a f what market it is, but if you're bearish on you know, a five minute or one minute chart, if they swing high, a short term swing high, when that five or one minute chart is taken out by one tick and it trades lower, as soon as it trades lower, on well, what time frame are you talking about? Whatever time frame that liquidity was taken on. If you see the swing high on the five minute chart has been pierced by one tick is all it takes. It doesn't need to close above it. It doesn't need to have a certain measure of handles above it. Once it does that, that's a disruption. That's a disruption in order flow. That starts the sell program. But I gave him a 30 second chart because it's easy to get in there and take a fair value gap after that disruption in order flow. Knowing that the market will gravitate towards that liquidity. It's there every day, every hour, every 15 fucking minutes. It's there. So forget the 90 second or 90 minute. It's every 15 minutes. It's there. I literally could sit there all day long, trade just intraday volatility, just doing what I just told you. Intraday volatility, that means you're going to be looking for an hourly or basically a 60 minute swing high or a swing low that it is likely to move to. It's been going up for the last couple hours or so. And it's just getting real close to an obvious 60 minute high. If it's not doing that, go down to a 15 minute time frame. Look for a swing high that it might be gravitating to. If it's gravitating towards that 15 minute high and real important, here's the main filter. Here's the filter folks. On a one or five minute chart, there, if you're bullish, it must show a swing low taken and then reject and go higher. Whatever time frame, whether it be the one minute or five minute, whatever time frame that swing low is breached, it goes below it. It only needs to go by one tick doesn't need to close below it either. This needs to go below it. That time frame that has the swing low, it must have a candle close up after it takes that low. Once it does that, you immediately drop down to a 30 second chart. One of the first primary principles I taught when I stepped out on baby pips is the real move will not happen. The dynamic price runs where there's magnitude and, and delirium speed that will happen after a pool of liquidity is engaged. That means if the market's bullish, if you think it's going to go higher, I think it's going to draw up to some level, whether it be a high, a relative equal high, uh, inefficiency above market price, whatever that is up there that you're framing as a reason for it to want to go up, it's far more likely to get up there with conviction and speed if there has been a short-term run on liquidity that's below the marketplace in the form of stops or sell-side liquidity.